Recent images taken by the Webb Space Telescope have caused a stir throughout the internet, but we felt we should honor its elders and discuss instead the Hubble Space Telescope, which is a true technological marvel. So, it left us with a bunch of questions. What is the maximum distance and time that the Hubble Space Telescope can see? What is its size? What photos did the Hubble take, specifically? Keep watching to find out. It is undeniable that the ongoing Hubble mission, which aims to capture the magnificent natural craftsmanship of the universe, has been successful in exposing the immense mysteries of space and the countless riches that humanity will discover when it travels into its depths. Launched in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope has maintained operation in the harsh environment of space for more than 30 years, a remarkable lifetime. And although this famous telescope has suffered wear and tear over the past several years, it still remains the dominant tool in the field. The solar-powered space telescope was intended to study ultraviolet, visible and infrared light waves, and it gathers around 40,000 times more light than the human eye. As a result, Hubble has been able to take some of the most breathtaking pictures ever seen by humans, including ones of distant tadpole galaxies, starbursts, nebulae, and supernovae. As was already mentioned, Hubble's primary wavelengths of vision are optical and ultraviolet, so its eyes function differently than those of Webb, who sees in the infrared. Due to infrared, Hubble is unable to see through the dusty areas of space that Webb can see through. So, what exactly is the Hubble Space Telescope? Well, the Hubble is basically a huge telescope in space. Its findings have exceeded our expectations and helped us comprehend the universe better. We now know a more definitive age of the universe, 13.787 billion years, thanks to Hubble, and we have learned that it is growing at an accelerated rate. Hubble discovered that black holes exist at the centers of most galaxies, that extrasolar planets orbit numerous stars, and that stellar nurseries and protoplanetary disks serve as the foundation for star systems like our own. This telescope is situated on the outskirts of the atmosphere. Its orbit is 593 kilometers above sea level. It also takes only roughly 97 minutes to traverse Earth's orbit. As you can see, it travels a significant distance in a minute. Hubble has served as our window into the universe, observing everything from neutron stars to supernova explosions. So how big is the Hubble telescope? The Hubble is a large, cylindrical object that is roughly the size of two African elephants, weighing around 11,000 kilograms and having a length of 13.2 meters, roughly the length of a bus. As you can see, it is a rather large telescope, yet it is capable of floating in space in the absence of gravity. The mirrors are also large. Its two mirrors allow it to reflect the light that strikes it. When the Hubble was originally launched, a slight malfunction in its mirror caused it to be unable to focus its lens, resulting in all photos acquired being fuzzy. Luckily, the telescope was fixed three years later by the Space Shuttle Endeavour crew over 11 days and five spacewalks. It is perfect for sky investigation because it has three cameras and various spectrometers built in. In addition, the GNZ-11 galaxy, which is around 13.4 billion light years distant, is the furthest galaxy ever spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope. So, as you can also see, it can see really far. And while we're on the subject of discoveries, let's talk about some of the most breathtaking photos of the universe captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. The telescope has created history with over 1 million observations. Hubble particularly studies everything from black holes to planets orbiting other stars. As humankind continues its mission to discover the universe, Hubble's unique powers are transforming astronomy. As a result, Hubble's photographs have made major contributions to science. The first on our list is known as the Eye of God, which is 700 light years away from Earth. Helix Nebula, NGC 7293. A neighboring planetary nebula, roughly two and a half light years across, sparkles like a gigantic golden eye. The helix is a planetary nebula, a peculiar formation formed when a star, such as our sun, runs out of hydrogen fuel. The outer layers of the star grow and cool, forming a massive ring of dust and gas. The dying star's radiation ionizes this ring, forcing it to glow. Together with Chile's Celo Tololo Observatory, the Hubble was able to take this nebula photograph on a vast scale. The helix nebula is a planetary nebula with an age of around 10,000 years. It is growing at a pace of 31 kilometers per second. Amazing, huh? Because of how hot the star core is, the gases in the area glow brightly, 
a white dwarf will inevitably develop from the core, the Eagle Nebula. Then there's the Pillars of Creation, one of the most famous Hubble images, which shows three huge trunks of cosmic dust and gas known as the Pillars of Creation. Hubble captured the first images in 1995, and then it was taken again 20 years later with a new camera. The Eagle Nebula is a Milky Way star-forming area, which means it's a frigid cloud of gas and dust, dense enough for gravity to hold, grab, and compress material into new stars. The ultraviolet radiation from these young stars erodes the nebula, creating the image's elegantly formed pillars. The temperatures are below zero, hovering at about negative 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go back in time to 1990, when the Hubble Space Telescope was still the newest member of the astronomical family. The first task for Hubble was to test out its equipment and make sure everything was in working condition before it could begin taking amazing photographs of the universe. NASA also published a stellar comparison to demonstrate just how advanced Hubble was. The image on the left was captured by a ground-based telescope in Chile, but the image on the right was captured by Hubble's far crisper first light image of the same stars. The first photograph Hubble ever captured on the right was of the 8.2 magnitude star HD 96755 in the star cluster NGC 3532. On the left is a ground-based telescope view of the same region of the sky. The image, obtained by Hubble's Wide Field Planetary Camera and released on May 20, 1990, demonstrates Hubble's superior visibility as compared to observatories on Earth, where the atmosphere can obscure the view. It was also meant to aid with telescope focusing. Jupiter. Moving on from the first view to something you should be familiar with. While most of Hubble's most important work has focused on faraway galaxies and planets, the telescope has also revealed a wealth of knowledge about our solar system. This Jupiter image from 2017 is part of an HST initiative to track changes in the large outer planet's atmospheres. Astronomers were particularly interested in how Jupiter's famed Great Red Spot, known since Galileo's time, is decreasing. In addition, Hubble caught Jupiter's auroras with its ultraviolet equipment, and this image was created by superimposing the UV image atop a visible light snap. Auroras are formed when electrically charged particles collide in a planet's atmosphere. Next on our list, we have the colorful crab. When a big star runs out of energy and its central core crashes due to its own gravity, a supernova explosion occurs, which is distinguished by a particularly violent outflow of its outer layers. This appears to be the Crab Nebula. It is a supernova relic growing at a pace of 1,500 kilometers per second. The solar core was too large to become a white dwarf, so it crashed into a super-dense neutron star, only 20 kilometers wide, known as the Crab Pulsar, which is a powerful X-ray and gamma-ray emitter. And the most amazing thing is that it is located 6,500 light-years away from Earth in our Milky Way galaxy. This picture blends Hubble optical light in yellow Spitzer infrared light in red, and Chandra X-ray light in blue, exposing the intricate internal composition of this centuries-old supernova remnant. Even after all this time, matter is still crashing together inside the nebula, which accounts for the tendrils and bubbles shown in the image. Chinese scientists initially noted the supernova occurrence in 1054 after spotting a brilliant light in the sky. Through his telescope, John Beavis found the resulting nebula in 1731. Hubble Eyes, Stephens Quintent. Stephens Quintent, also known as Hickinson Compact Group 92, HCG 92, is a collection of five galaxies, four of which are actively interacting with one another. The group lies in the Pegasus constellation. The lighter colored galaxy on the left is really close to us and isn't among the other four. However, only three of the galaxies are interacting, with the bright galaxy in the top left corner being seven times closer to Earth than the rest. This optical illusion shows the fact that, despite space being vast and essentially empty, things may appear relatively close when they are actually extremely far apart. Galaxies and stars are like sand grains. Late in 1995, Hubble pointed at what appeared to be an empty region of deep space by Robert Williams. The resulting 342 photos were then blended to create one incredible image that resembled a cosmic borehole through the fabric of space and time. In a region of the sky the size of a grain of rice held at arm's length, astounded astronomers discovered more than 1,500 galaxies, the most distant of which were glowing less than a billion years after the Big Bang. A few deeper images of the Hubble Deep Field, taken fewer than 500 million years after the Big Bang, revealed galaxies that were still developing. 
The Hubble Deep Fields demonstrate that by the time the universe was around 500 million years old, we had a mostly very high star formation rate, which peaked about 9 or 10 billion years ago. Amazing, right? So, what are your opinions on these stunning Hubble telescope images? We've just scratched the surface. If you'd like to see more, let us know in the comment section down below.